do it? Okay. Okay. It's recording. Great. Thank right, you. Now go back and do the flour sugar thing. I guess. <laughs> okay. Now start over, Kate. <laughs> okay. So I'll probably have to redo this a no number of times. Because you're like Julia oh. Child. You know, come on. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll send the video to all of us when we're done. <laughs> Flour, sugar, yeast. I poured out the milk. Uh, butter, an egg, salt. Now that's for the dough. Okay, for the for the filling you can use white flour if you don't have brown sugar. white sugar uh, brown, white sugar thank you dina i have brown sugar okay hey one question yeah you know the yeast that we bought that from mexico right that we got yeah how are you keeping that are you keeping that in a dark in the freezer. You're keeping it in the freezer. Yeah, and then I have this container uh -huh. that I put in the fridge. So I fill okay. up this container. The rest of it is in the freezer. Hi, okay. Steph. Okay. Hi, Steph. Hi. <laughs> That's my, my darling granddaughter, Zanav. Hi. My granddaughter. Oh. Awesome, Gabe. Okay. Mariana, you're you're mute. You're mute. Hey, will you tell us if we don't have that instant yeast, how yeast, how to do that? Oh, regular um, doing it for all kinds of yeast. Okay. Not just for instant. Because the instant yeast you don't have to add to water. We're adding it to the water. Okay? So and the water is um, a half a cup of water that you're going to put. Where is Damien's iPhone? What is he not? There he oh, is. Oh, Damien. There he is. <laughs> oh, hi, Damien. You can go back to hiding, Damien. It's okay. <laughs> hey, are you making croissant next? Oh, no, I'm not. I'm, no, that's I what you know what I'm making next. You're You're just making rolls for now. Croissants. <laughs> you need to that's do your show. Yes. I saw your croissants and they're wonderful. They're pretty nice. But it's your show, Kate. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> and you know what, Kate? You can put you bigger and us smaller. I don't know how to do that. I'm just learning how to be a host. So that you can be bigger. And all you have to, um, Susan, all you have to do is change your view, and, uh -huh. if you ch and if you change it to speaker view, then when Kate is talking, she will be the biggest on the screen. She'll be the only one on the screen. Yeah. Okay, but now, okay. Go to Go the ahead and talk, room. Kate. Now Go I'm you. talking. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Yeah, okay. okay. The other thing you can do... Thank so, you. Yeah, the other thing you can do is um, up in the right hand corner of everybody's picture there's blue dots um and you just it's called pin the video so if you pin kate's video she'll always be the biggest one right and the rest of us if we're muted she's got the big screen right. well don't mute yourself because i want you to be asking questions all, all the way along okay and not everybody is as as proficient as you are my dear Susan. <laughs> All right. So, um, what the first thing I'm going to say to do is to turn your oven on to 200. Okay. That is really low. Turn it on to 200. <clears throat> All we're doing is making that oven nice and calm down. warm. You gotta calm down. You're not missing anything. Stuff is coming. All I've done is turn on the oven. So I'm going to use. Uh, oh, 
I'm going to go over to the, the sink and get warm water, a half a cup of warm water. Sorry, I need a half a cup of warm water. Is that what yeah. I just? Yeah. Okay. You can use wine instead. <laughs> Just breathe on it. <laughs> it's just body heat, like warm temperature, somewhere around 100. It can go all the way up to 100 and, you know, 108, but it's about 100. Okay. And then you take your yeast, one packet, or two and one quarter teaspoons, more or less, just using a tablespoon and guessing, because it, it doesn't matter, throw it into that warm water, along with one teaspoon of sugar. And then just stir that up and let it sit there for a while. If the yeast is alive, it's going to declare itself. You'll be able to see that it's alive. And there's Pam. Oh, hi, Pam. Hey, I didn't want to interrupt. I had to start a Zoom for Ed's cousins in Ohio in the back room, so go ahead. <laughs> okay. So, hey, I have a question. Yes. Could you tell me again what, uh, how much sugar that was? How much? One tablespoon. One tablespoon. All you're doing is making sure that that yeast is alive. Wait, one tablespoon? I heard one teaspoon. One tablespoon? It doesn't matter. Just okay. some sugar, but I used a tablespoon. Okay. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Then. It's a very forgiving recipe. Oh, yeah. You could really screw this up and it would taste wonderful. I screwed it <laughs> up this morning. So. Trust me, you can screw it up. So I'm putting the flour, which is and three quarters cup of flour. What and three quarters cup? Two. Two? Two, two, two and three quarters cup. Oh, you're right. Thank you, Dina. It is two and three quarters. It's about a pound of flour. Pam, you missed the part where Dina already made hers and ate most of them. <laughs> I didn't I didn't, have, I didn't keep them by myself. To eat it. That's why I just said I'll be an observer on this one. <laughs> uh, the salt. Right. And the other two tablespoons, other two tablespoons of sugar. And how much salt, Kate? Uh, one teaspoon. And then just sort of mix it up. Then I want you to take one quarter cup of milk. If you don't have milk, put water in. I don't care. <laughs> okay. This is, uh, okay, the, the stick of butter is eight tablespoons. So what you're doing is dividing it in half and then in half again, and that's two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of butter. Okay, 
Okay, sorry. Can you slow down a little bit? <laughs> yes. I just got That's this. That's exactly why I want to keep it not mute yourself. What? Yeah, how much milk? I'm like lost. I'm lost. Quarter cup. One quarter <laughs> cup of milk. Correct. What, honey? In a microwavable container. Kate, does it somewhere say on a recipe that I don't have, does it, I didn't want to keep interrupting, does it say like salted or unsalted butter or what kind of flour? It doesn't matter or what, what kind of butter. butter. What's that? It really does. And, I've made it with salted, I've made it with unsalted. Okay, okay, perfect. I love it. Are we putting the milk and the butter in the same container? Put it into the same container because you're putting it into the microwave for 20 seconds. Okay. Yeah, two, ta two tablespoons of butter. Yeah. And now I'm going to put it into the microwave for 20 seconds. Okay? Okay. Wait, what happened? We put the microwave in the butter, in, or the butter in the microwave? Is that what it was? Microwave two and the butter and the milk together. Okay, and it's half a stick, correct? No. 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 Two, two tablespoons. tablespoons. Okay, got it. It's a quarter stick. A quarter of a stick. And then I'm waiting. <laughs> this is amusing. <laughs> I had to do it for another 10 seconds because the butter wasn't melted. Okay? You just want it warm. Which is what I've got. Now I'll wait. Melted or softened? softened? It can be very, very soft. It's just warm to your hand. Okay, perfect. Got it. Warm to your hand. Not a big deal. Mix it together? It's going to get mixed into the bowl. All right. I want you to take a look at your yeast. Is it all foamy? Yes. That's exactly what you want. Nice foamy yeast. It's just doubled, it's foamy. Isn't that wonderful? Okay. Lovely. All right? All right. Here's what you do. You're going to mix all of the wet into the dry, including an egg. Okay. And including your yeast water. <laughs> Who's chicken? Who's rooster? I heard a rooster. Oh, I, I think it's mine. <laughs> I think it's a Zenev rooster. I can't. Sometimes I don't even hear them. <laughs> Break that yolk up and beat it all up. That's going to look really shaggy. Worry about it. Yes, for fun. That's okay. if you can use this. Kate, mm. my dad would like to know if you can use this 
I don't know if you can see this. Yes. Yes? Okay. Yeah, Papa, she says yes. I think that's what I bought too. Um, is yours instant or not instant? It, it says instant. It doesn't ma make it easier. Yeah. It doesn't matter either. I love this, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, if you mix it with water ahead of time and it foams up, it's yeast that works. So don't even worry about it. It's supposed to be a little crumbly. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is what it looks like. Okay. Okay. Real shaggy. Shaggy, yeah. So, my impeccably clean hands <laughs> are going in. And I'm just mixing it up, folding it on itself over and over, and seeing if I can pick up. Now, it's going to stick. Don't worry about it. One hand goes in, and you just keep folding it over, and it's suddenly not sticking anymore. And don't worry if it still sticks. Don't worry if it still sticks. Don't. Don't get excited about it. Okay. This thing is going to be beaten into submission. <laughs> The mistake that I is made. The most forgiving of anything that I make. Right? The mistake I made. I mixed it and I forgot the egg. So oh. then I took the egg and and mushed it in later. Yeah. <laughs> and it, that's our okay. <laughs> okay. I have kneaded this up for maybe maybe a minute, and it's looking mighty fine. <laughs> You know, it's fine. It's not done, but it's fine. So I'm just going to take it out. You do not have to take it out to knead it. You can still knead it in the bowl. But I'm putting it here so you can see my nifty kneading. <laughs> Your technique. Technique, which is just folding it over and over like this. Quarter turn, fold, quarter turn, fold. Then push away from you. And you get kind of a rhythm going. Sometimes I actually don't make it in the, the mixer so that I can do this. Because the mixer will make it so you don't have to knead it all. You'll notice after about a minute, that it's getting smoother. Are you noticing that? Yes. Yeah. Just, you know, if it sticks to the board, you can put more flour down, only don't put a whole lot, just a little. And you just keep kneading. Now, this is the hardest part of the whole thing. So don't get excited. <laughs> After about two minutes, three minutes, Dina, right? Yeah, roughly that, yeah. It's smooth. It's like a bare baby's bottom. <laughs> it's all smooth. It's all ready to go. If you didn't, if you didn't take it out of the bowl, don't take it out of the bowl. But I'm going to spray the bottom of it. I'm going to put it in. And I'm going to cover it. You can cover it with a dish towel or, or, or. Full, um... You can cover it with with wrap. Well, you can cover it with uh, plastic wrap, you can cover it with the towel. Okay. Doesn't matter. Or you can take off your bra and cover it with that, right? Oh, sure. <laughs> Wait, don't use your mask though. <laughs> no bras. I... <laughs> okay. Just because you don't wear one now, hippie. 
<laughs> That's the last time you wore a bra. <laughs> I got one on, look. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to talk about what we're going to put it in, okay? What we'll put the rolls, the finished rolls in. It could be this size. Pam, Carrie, look at what Carrie's got. Carrie's pants. Yeah, that's good. Carrie, say something. Hi, this is me. <laughs> okay, so nine by nine. Like a nine by nine, it's something nine like that. By nine. Nine, nine by nine. Nine by nine. Or a round one like this. Okay. <laughs> or a round pan. It should be glass. Hey, I had help in eating these, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Ron, I like how most of them are gone. So, and, and honestly, you could put them in, I don't know, you could probably make them to put in muffin pans. It doesn't yeah. matter. Whatever well, you got. Okay this is for it's you. Okay it doesn't matter. matter. I okay. love that. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> I'm going to spray this or grease it. I'm putting parchment paper in, but then I'm going to spray that. But you don't have to. You don't have to. It can be, you can just butter it and it's fine. Oh, for the filling! Woohoo! It says one quarter cup of, of uh, brown sugar. I'm putting more. <laughs> I like more. So I'm doing a third, maybe a half. I don't know. Okay, I like so more. So it's gooey. I like it, so it's gooey. <laughs> exactly. Like gooey. Now this is gonna seem like an incredibly large amount of cinnamon, but it's not. And what did we do with the covered bowl? You're setting it aside. Just set it aside. Put it to the side. Okay. Two tablespoons. Well, that's one half a tablespoon. Okay. Sorry. What happened to my tablespoon? Not there. Okay. Two tablespoons. Like I said, it seems like a lot. But it's oh. Sorry, two tablespoons of what? What? Two tablespoons. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Do you use any particular cinnamon when you make when you're baking? Costco. Costco, right? Costco. <laughs> Mine apparently is very fancy. I didn't. I, I didn't. I use Vietnamese cinnamon oh, in my that's coffee. Awesome. I have five different cinnamons. That's why I asked. You like cinnamon? Oh, and uh, I. Well, they all taste fancy. different. They're, they're all different. Very fancy, and yes, they're all different. That's why I asked. Do you eat cinnamon bears candy? <laughs> Mine is Tegan cinnamon. Oh. Kirkland. Kirkland cinnamon. That's a blend of everything. <laughs> or the cheapest you can get. Whatever. Two teaspoons? Is that right? Tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Okay. All right. Stuart says it's got to have nuts. <laughs> I'm not putting nuts in mine. He gets to put them in if he wants them. So he's there. Trying, he's trying to get in here. <laughs> he has zoom, he's Zoom deficient. Uh, well, you'll be able to get... Help him from my 
Susan, can I help him from my phone? Because I'm on my laptop. I could text him. Or are you helping him? No, he had his. He has his instructions. There's okay. no password. Yeah. Right. No password. So I'm clearing the decks because we are going to roll the dough out. Okay, all we did in the bowl was the brown sugar and the cinnamon. That's it. Okay. Yep. You're going to put, you're going to smear smear the butter onto the rolled out dough. This is the fun part. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to use a can of hairspray for my rolling pin. That's how bad I am at baking and cooking. <laughs> <laughs> So you put a thin layer of flour down, not thick, not a ton, and you kind of scooch it off to the side. Then you pull out your dough, okay? And you kind of square it up. Not, it's not a big deal. Kind of square it up. Flour your rolling pin. And you are going to do, you're going to scooch it out. Okay? And it's going to be springing back and it's going to be tough and you're going to say what the hell is she doing <laughs> but you're going to into a rough triangle right right uh, triangle, it's a rough rectangle, rectangle. <laughs> there was some geometry class here yes. Thank you. <laughs> a rough rock rectangle and this one that I've got here 12 by 9, I want it 15 by 9. Jesus. 15 by 9. I'm going to write that down. It's in the, it's in the. Is it in the instructions? It's in the okay. instructions. Because I know 12 by 9 gives you fat little rolls. Yeah, well, I don't like fat little rolls. I like lots of swirly stuff in it. <laughs> Sorry. More or less. And it doesn't matter. Again, none of this matters. It, it, nothing has to be exact. I can't wait till you bone a chicken. What? Oh, that would be a good one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nothing matters. <laughs> you can outdo <laughs> Julia Child. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. If it mattered, I tell you. <laughs> it matters that the yeast is alive. That, that matters. That matters. Okay. So what you're doing now is taking a quarter cup of butter and smearing it. leave a little bit of space at the top let me pull this down right here don't butter it along here about oh a half an inch or so but for the rest of it all, all the way to the edges all of the other edges need to be buttered. Now, do you see what when I have? When in doubt, put butter. What? When in doubt, put butter. Yes. <laughs> when in doubt. Damien, butter. where are you? <laughs> okay. And then you take your sugar-cinnamon mixture. And you add butter to it. 
Provide. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell me. Can you see Damien why Damien show? I like having more rather than less. I think Damien's on the floor. Oh, I know he is. <laughs> I'm just listening. Damien is one of the best cooks I know. Actually, he's more of a chef. You hear that? He's amazing. <laughs> and, and always cooks from the floor, huh? <laughs> well. <laughs> And you sort of spread it with your fingers to make it sort of even. Make sure you get it all the way to the edges because and you don't want the edge ones to be so not doing too well. All right, all set? <laughs> Stewart's coming on. Yay. There's one of these for chicken and only one of these. I thought I got two of them. It makes me want to make pancakes. Mm -hmm. Okay, are we all there? Yeah. Are we all there? Yes. Yes. I'm back. Allison, are you okay? Yes, I'm good. Stuart, are you there? Then you start with the, <laughs> the edge that's nearest to you, and you're rolling it up like a carpet. A magic carpet? <laughs> and do it tight at the beginning. After a while, you don't have to worry about it. And if your hands get all gooey, oh well. <laughs> Wow, bananas. Look at that. Maybe you eat more bananas. Okay. <laughs> and then when you get down at this end, you pinch it together. That's why you didn't want the sugar there. So you're pinching it together down at this end. Okay. Isn't that cute? Darling. Totally. Now you're going to need a knife, okay? And it all depends on how many you want. Now, if you've got the square pan, if you, get, if you have a square pan, you want nine. If you have this one, I have no idea, probably. Nine by 12? No, this one is an 11 by seven. I'm probably gonna do 12. Okay. But it doesn't matter because it, it will be fine. <laughs> if you're doing nine, you sort of guesstimate. Since it's nine inches wide, it's an inch. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yep. Mm -hmm. If, if you're making 12 of them, well, what I'll do is do this half again, half again, and then in threes. Does it, um, Mine are going to be short. What kind of knife? It's okay. What? What kind of knife would you recommend? A sharp, sharp one. one. A sharp one. <laughs> You know what, yeah. I'm using a, a metal spatula and it's great because it does the same thing that Kate's thing does. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Something that's sharp and that's kind of funky, but that's okay, don't worry. And then you put them in. Oh my God, they look right, Kate. <laughs> Would I steer you wrong? Yes. <laughs> no, she wouldn't. Yeah, well, I might. <laughs> you never know. Oh my god, they're beautiful. They're so cute. Right. They're adorable. Did they touch? Yeah. Yes, they can touch. Yeah. Scooch them in. 
I'm gonna go show Elise because she won't come in here. So. <laughs> so that's what mine looks like. Pretty. Now, you're going to put either aluminum foil over the top of them or or a plastic wrap. Plastic wrap over the top of them. You're going to turn around to your oven and turn it off. Turn that oven off right now. Don't forget, just turn it off. And this is going into the oven. We're going to put it in the oven. And now the oven's off. We're going to put it into the oven. How long, Dina? Um, 15 minutes. I, I, may, I tend to do it for 20, but. Yeah, 15 to 20. With Until the they're double? Oven? No, they don't have to double. They don't have to double. OK. No. But you put the plastic on. It's off. The oven is now off. Yeah. Yeah. Plastic is on. <laughs> I trust you. Plastic on, the oven, oven off. Was on 200. Now it's off. Right, Dina? Right. Okay. This gives you an opportunity to do one of two things. You can now. I'll be glass of wine. Clean your uh, kitchen up. Or, or a margarita. Have a glass of wine. Or a margarita. Clean your drink. <laughs> I have water, but. Water? Yeah, I know. But this, is, this is the time to put things away. To pretend like you haven't been. Um, oh, and I need to set it. 15. My timer. Kate, I wanted to share with you that today my um, my rolling pin is a vermouth bottle. I don't know. If nice. You know. <laughs> that is perfect. <laughs> nice. I was I was cooking these rolls, cinnamon rolls. Uh huh. No, it was an apple pie at um, a lodge somewhere, and there was no. None to be found. I used your rolling pin. <laughs> it worked perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> I've used broom handles. Oh, that's a good one. I've when I've been that. someplace that, that they didn't have, who, did, who doesn't have a broom, a, a rolling yeah. pin? But I've been places that they didn't. So I went well, outside I and got the broom and put alcohol on it and used the broom. <laughs> Every ounce of strength I have not to say that's what she said after you said it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you use what's there, you know. <laughs> you, have, you improvise. Yeah. Now, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. yeah. I think that we should name this series of classes during the pandemic, it doesn't matter. <laughs> or it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It, doesn't it just doesn't matter. It do just doesn't matter. <laughs> you are really having a hard time understanding that, though, boy. Woo. Oh, my God. You know I why? Because people, I think, tend to get really tense and stressed about baking. Yeah. But baking is the easiest because you just have to use the ingredients that it says in the order that it says and then you put it in the oven like it says you know it's not anything to stress over i don't think but when when people's perfectionism kicks in there's a a real deal about being perfect that a lot of ladies and gentlemen often have and um one of the things that I like about cooking, and this is, I've, everybody knows this, who knows me. Kate, I have a question. I love, I love cooking 
because if you make a mistake, you can destroy all evidence. I have a question That's for you, true. Kate. That's a good one. Yeah. You don't have to tell anybody about it. A little room freshener goes a long way. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My kids still laugh about me serving biscuits biscuit tops and they're go they, how yummy they were i think i put cheese and butter and had them all finally halfway through the meal it's like but mom what happened to the b biscuit bottoms <laughs> you can just <laughs> re upcycle your errors too they just disappeared <laughs> who knows who knows <laughs> kate i want yeah. you to finish this yeah. recipe My with your child's voice yes. cooked an easter ham no. Without taking the plastic off. Oh, oh my gosh. That's bad. Oh, oh. Now that, and she, she didn't get it until people were actually in the house waiting for it. Oh, no. Oh, oh Lord. Now, that kind of thing, well, it has become, she, she brings <laughs> it up every Easter. <laughs> I don't bring it up. She brings it up every Easter. It's like an I Love Lucy episode. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You remember doing those crafts we used to do in the 70s where you would shellac breadsticks and put them in bowls? Remember, you'd put, like, varnish on them? Do yeah, remember I remember those. I remember, remember varnish foods. Well, yeah. Oh, bread bowls, yeah. Right, so I had done some, and I had this fake bowl of you know with breadsticks and everything done to with uh shellac i believe on it and some holiday we're sitting there and one of my kids came up and goes it was ed's mom not mine came up and said grandma's eating the breadsticks <laughs> and they were varnished and we had to call poison control and everything <laughs> oh god <laughs> they're like what do you say grandma's eating mine <laughs> oh. Okay, that's horrifying. That is horrifying. <laughs> right? Yeah, it kind of ruins the dinner party, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> Somehow having the paramedics there kind of casts a pallet over your dinner party. She was fine. Yeah. We try to avoid that at this house. <laughs> um, it does make for a good story, so. Yeah, oh yeah. And as as Lori's ham always makes for a good story. Yeah, it's of really course. important though to let her start the story. <laughs> yes, best that way. <laughs> best that way. I never pointed out to her. Never. So she put the she put all the stuff on, on top of it, but with plastic or on it still. Good, <laughs> good grief. <laughs> <laughs> I only I've only got one funny story and that was you know how at the at the ripest time of the year you have like five different colors of bell peppers right mm -hmm. depending on how what what their age is it makes a gorgeous centerpiece and you just put all kinds of jicama and celery and all kinds of wonderful things in there and you've got this gorgeous centerpiece and I went out I was I had like eight at table and I was out barbecuing and I came back in and I said what happened to the centerpiece and they said we ate it we <laughs> thought it was the salad <laughs> they said well don't here's the to, salad <laughs> do it's fine. Yeah, but it wasn't shellac so that's <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to call poison control that time you didn't have to call poison control no <laughs> worry about your pets eating the wrong thing not your mother-in-law <laughs> <laughs> wait till i see ed again i know he she was a deal with <clears throat> didn't she think they were a little too crunchy i guess i and i'm not a bad cook so you're a good cook <laughs> I'm, I'm okay i'm guessing everybody here is a good cook <laughs> because cooks enjoy being with cooks yeah. Now, eaters enjoy being with cooks. Yeah. <laughs> True. Except for Damien, who's on the floor. We don't know about Damien. <laughs> and Stuart is hiding behind his iPad. There you go. Could he not get on, Susan? What? Is he hiding on purpose? 
I don't know. He says he's listening to all of us. Okay, because okay. I think he has to go in the bottom left and unclip the mute or the video. He's he's he, muted or videoed or on ours. See, I don't, I don't know. Oh well. <laughs> I think he's just enjoying us. <laughs> Pretty soon we'll hear we'll hear he'll unmute it and we can hear some beautiful piano music yeah. for ambiance. For ambiance, because we're now at the waiting portion. Yeah, this is Stuart. This is your time to play ambiance. He's not listening. He's not listening. <laughs> he says he's listening. Oh, okay. We need ambiance. Okay. Then you. You took pictures of my pantry, which hasn't substantially gone down. I think I'm, I'm in for the duration. <laughs> um, uh, what do you, have you done pictures of anybody else's? Um, I did, let me, I'll see if I can walk over there. You can, I'm doing print tests right now. So I have things edited. And so I have, um, there you are. There's your pantry. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. And I've been um, photographing delivery boxes also. Wait, there you are. Oh. Delivery boxes. Yeah, there they okay. are. <laughs> nice. Um, Allison, for those of you who don't know, uh, Allison has been doing bug out bags, among other things. But the bug out bags are kind of the precursor to what's in my pantry. The pantry. They're the bugging out version of um, when there's a, an emergency. So I've been photographing uh, people prepping for disaster. Okay. For the past, uh, well, for years leading up, the couple of years leading up to the 2016 election. And um, so from all over the country and people prepping wow. for, you know, hurricanes and pandemics. Earth, earthquakes. earthquakes. Apocalypses. The apocalypse, the rapture. Whatever. Your guns, all wow. of it. What she's not telling you is that they've been in Italian Vogue and Wired Magazine. Wow. All these wow. And you, can buy, and you can buy one of her prints for $50 at the Sear Gallery website. And 100% of the proceeds go to support women who've lost their jobs uh, during COVID um, that are artists that are trying to make work. So we've been, we've given uh, $400 grants to seven different female artists in the last month. Um, but wow. her... Her prints are amazing. That's you can well, get somebody, print. Kate or Susan, can get the info to me then, right? Sure, sure. Yeah, it's awesome. Or we can oh, get somehow, okay. uh, put the website up, one yeah, of you. I'll put, it, I'll put it up right now. I'll put it yeah, up. Yeah, Mariana's on there also. We have, there's a lot of different artists, and so we've all donated work to help out these uh, women who have, you know, lost their jobs and are in danger That's awesome. of their homes. That's so, really great. Yeah. You can buy some artwork and help out some some. And Marianne's got her artwork. Uh huh. Yeah, she has work on there too. On the same are are you on the same website? We are. We're both artists. Okay, on the good. Side. So I'm I'm gonna put the link in the chat. I don't know if you guys know. I'm gonna put mm -hmm. a link right to the page okay. where you can buy the artist fund work. Okay. Um, and let me get back up here. Sorry, I'm going back. I'm hopping between screens, chat. But I know, Allison, nobody likes to talk about their work, but. <laughs> I know. I, 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 so. I got to find the other picture. I have a picture here. of your flower also, Kate. Oh, I'm going to go take a picture oh, of it. Not F-L-O-W-E-R. No. F-L-O-U-R. Yeah. Flower, the ten pound bed or ten pound jar of flour. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, there it is. What you were seeing it in my right behind you, yeah. Right, yeah. In my kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> and you were making bread that day also. I was making bread that day, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but if you guys know how to look at the chat, there's that little chat bubble at the bottom. You just click on that and then a link to the gallery will pop right up and then you can click on it. 
Mm -hmm. yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Thank you. You're Thanks a lot. So some of these are Kate's pantry, huh? Uh huh. No. That's not a bad idea. Put Kate's pantry in your kitchen frame. <laughs> no. And then people say, "What is that? Is that <laughs> did you right. watercolor? Because I, yes. I have watercolors too. So uh -huh. did you watercolor that?" And I'd say, "No, that's my friend Kate's pantry." And don't <laughs> even think about photographing my pantry. <laughs> do you live in like 400 square feet? What kind? I of do. I do. I, I live in a tiny little place and I adore it, which is good because I am in here for the duration. I've been here since March 5th and it's like a little uh, English cottage. I just, Aww. I just send myself to Oxford and I'm happy as a clam. Isn't it, Kate? It's like a it's little like European. It's wonderful and it's a little bolt hole. Organized and lovely. And it only takes me one hour to clean it top to bottom. <laughs> nice. That sounds great. <laughs> I think I hate you. I went from a huge house like Kate had to a smaller place to a smaller place to this place, which is what I had in mind 15, 20 years ago, to have a bolt hole that I to close and just take off and go. Mm -hmm. Except I can't go anywhere, so no. well, you can't have everything. My backyard looks like I live in South Georgia on a trailer or in a trailer, and uh, <laughs> that my garage is like a mess. So I'm I'm in awe of the one hour concept because I'm see. So you know what? I had your house. <laughs> Kate, Kate has seen my. I have a house. I had a house like Kate's. It was a double lot, it, and it had and it was 1890s, so mm. it had. Uh, it had all kinds of gardens and fruit trees and and that's where I spent my life and yeah I just got sick of it you know because I couldn't get any writing done because I was spending all my time in the garden so now I just go to Kate's <laughs> I totally understand that. yeah Stuart are you gonna play the piano for us yeah you can hear me yeah we can hear you oh okay we can't see you though. Well, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> is is Stuart our Zoom bomber? Cause like he's like he's our Zoom bomber. Oh, yeah, <laughs> he's our musical interlude. <laughs> oh my God, it's been so long since I've seen one of those or like experienced one in a movie. That was such a big deal to have the the musical interlude. It meant that the, the the movie was a really good one, right? That's right. That's true. A really long one. Lawrence of Arabia has a musical interlude. That's right. Uh, so does uh, Cleopatra, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, Ten Chicago. Commandments. Doesn't the Ten Commandments have it too? Oh yeah. God, the whole thing is a musical. In her. <laughs> So yeah. Romero was six foot tall. <laughs> Yay. What's your favorite song, Kate? Gee, no. it would be my favorite song. It's okay. like this is Living Tech. Italian music to go along with our cinnamon rolls. Oh, I thought it was raviolis. <laughs> no, we're not doing raviolis yet. No. Oh. Cinnamon rolls first. Cinnamon uh, rolls first. 
Is that's that more. I think that's more Gershwin cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls. <laughs> New York Gershwin, right? I have to give the do the next thing. Okay, next thing. Twenty minutes. And for me, has it been twenty minutes for everybody else? Yes. Okay. What I want you to do: is take the plastic off or the covering off the, the the stuff that's in the oven. Now turn the oven on to 375. Don't take it out, don't do anything. Just turn it on to 375. But you don't take the rolls out, huh? No. Nope. So there's no preheating to it. It's on. And? How many minutes? I'm getting it right now. 15 to 20 minutes. Kate, can you explain to everyone why you did all of this with the oven? What? What, Damien? Why did you do all of this with the oven? The 200 degrees, turn it off, let uh, them because inside it. we're making them in 15 minutes and we needed to have the oven warm enough to get them to rise. That was the reason why. And it's really counterintuitive. Now, Lord, I think you're going to need a microphone. You're getting a tinny reverberation. Is anybody else getting that? Yeah. Yeah. If that's not good. Now, it's reverberating. While it's baking, it is now. The glaze. <laughs> and about a Hi, um, okay now you have to watch Stuart because she's making the icing mm. Back. Back. how much sugar Kate? What? One, one cup one, one cup. cup this is so no problem <laughs> As opposed to the rest of the recipe. <laughs> okay. And a couple of tablespoons. 
tablespoons, not a quarter cup, a couple of tablespoons of milk. All right, we need a couple of tablespoons of milk. Okay, milk, huh? It could be water. It could be water. Or cream. And a little bit of vanilla, but you don't have to. Okay, a little bit of vanilla. Put vanilla or not vanilla, it doesn't matter. That could be a book title. Vanilla or not vanilla? Okay, how much vanilla cake? Um, just a tiny little bit. Yeah. A wee splash. Okay. I followed the recipe and I think it's too thin. I think it's too thin. I'd rather have it thicker. So I'm just going to add a little bit more flour, uh, sugar. A little bit more sugar. All right, put a little bit more sugar in there. Right. And if you don't have powdered sugar, if for whatever reason the store didn't have it, you can just sprinkle the top with, with regular white sugar when it comes out of the oven and it kind of melts in. But I like, Ooh. and this is the glaze for it. That's looking yummy. Yeah. They're also good without any icing at all. Yes. That's true, particularly when you're eating them with butter. I was just thinking that, yeah. Susan, that's blasphemy. <laughs> What's blasphemy? No sugar? <laughs> no, no icing on your cinnamon roll. Oh, Carrie. <laughs> well, no, because you've got them chock-a-block with uh, brown sugar okay. and cinnamon. Sugar and cinnamon. <laughs> yeah. So they're really, you get really to do good. whatever you want. That's this right. Is your deal. Let's do it. Let's do it. But with Stuart, you got to have the nuts. <laughs> right, nuts. Stuart? Nuts to me. <laughs> well, Stuart, you can add nuts. You can add raisins. You can add currants. Uh, I've put dried fruit in it. Don't forget the tuna fish. Dried, dried food, fruit. You know. Yeah, you yeah, put you currants know. in it, and all of a sudden you've got a little French breakfast roll. Yeah. So this is all set, ready for when they come out. Okay. And now more wine. <laughs> more talking. Got ten minutes left. But I think you can see it's pretty easy. Seems a little, so make, yeah, make sure you get all those ones out. And they're probably delicious because oh, Dina's okay. already eaten all hers. <laughs> <laughs> Dina's got two very large men living at her house. Yeah. <laughs> when did you make them, Dina? I made them as cakes from Susan. And Trace helped me eat them. Awesome. Probably three hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This these, morning. Are, these were the demos. <laughs> but, they, <laughs> but they got eaten. <laughs> well, Dina's the one that gave me this recipe. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Really good. Dina found this recipe, and I said, no way are you able to do it in that time period. I didn't think so either. Yeah. And uh, well, I, love, I love cinnamon rolls, but I... And I love yeast rolls. I just don't like spending the time on them. Mm -hmm. And right. and yeah, you know, and I love them coming from the oven warm. And sure does. this does it. That seems big, big enough for you. Maybe a little thicker. So tell us some more about these prints. Allison. Go. Where'd Allison go? Mm -hmm. And Mariana. I Tell us know. about the prints and how did you get this idea to do this? You mean her photographs? Yeah. Hi guys. Um, she was invited to be in a show at the Torrance Art Museum. And so um, I think and it, it was the survivalist show. And I think that's where the concept originally came from. And like she's got a book that she published about it 
So she can talk more about that if she's off camera right now. Now she, she's I, here. I was on. I'm just so used to talking for her, I guess. <laughs> My PR agent. Yeah. yeah. Well, somebody needs your friend to do that for you. So I know, I know, I'm bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, we, we did the the online uh, COVID relief fund because we are part of a feminist group of artists, and um, we curate shows. And Look at Marianas. There's sure. Marianas. Yeah, Marianas. Nice. So I finished these yesterday. Let's look here. We were in this women's group and we wow. raised Beautiful. And we do, like do self help stuff for each other. We try to mark our work as artists. So work with galleries, um, great shows, make stuff. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. Great. That's amazing. Um, it's cool, right? This is yeah. Cool. yeah. So, anyway. Do you live in a loft? Mariana, show a turn it so oh. that Susan and and so those are the octagons. Like um oh, wow. show. these are the pieces from these are all wrapped up. These were in a show that just came back from a museum, so <sighs> kind of leave oh. your beautiful. So my, my, one side of the studio is very empty because I've been moving oh, things out of the wall. This is my weird yeah. witch altar. You before dinner. <laughs> and then uh, my husband is building, so he built the painting racks on both sides. So these are all full of paintings here. Kind of see. Um, and he, but this room is going to become another painting rack room. This used to be his workshop, uh, but he's now built his workshop to be outside, which this is the coolest thing. Um, now we have this area that's like you know has a roof and so all of his tools are going to be outside like that oh cool wow yeah. like a beautiful you know piece of furniture out here and he bought a new sink. this is like our christmas present in the fence so very cool and then we have a very trashy backyard right now because we don't have time so <laughs> <laughs> no, the problem is my husband's working more now than he did when he was on campus. Um, because Zoom meetings are take forever. Yeah. I'm sure all of you guys are experiencing that. Mm -hmm. have, you, have, you done have you done any individual meetings with students where you're like stacking up your day and stuff? Because that I, that sounds exhausting to me. To have, like, I had eight yesterday. Yeah. You did? <laughs> eight back to back. I have five today. Ooh, but it's nice to see everybody, you know? It is. You get into like a rhythm and it's fun and, and I enjoy it a lot. But then I was exhausted by the end of the day, just sitting, you know? Like I had about a five yeah. minute bag between. People. I have to get up and move around or <laughs> wiggle around a little. Yeah. Exactly. I was doing squats and <laughs> stretch. <laughs> This, this is so thing. fun, Kate. You should do this way more often. Oh, this is yeah. a great way to end the week. It really is. Okay. Well, you should do it every Thursday. So what should I fix the next time? What should we do? That was English muffins. Oh, English muffins. Ooh. English muffins do not take an oven. That's why. Because I remember I have a toaster oven. So <laughs> Right. <laughs> too well but can i can i request that we not do it at three o'clock on a friday again because noel has a regular three o'clock oh yeah, sure. yeah. i have a regular four thirty to five thirty on friday so i have to leave this one at four thirty. but well we're the uh, those things are coming out in another five minutes yep yeah but it's a long way over to your house and i can't leave my house <laughs> Stuart, how fast can you ride your bike? Can you get over to <laughs> Santa Monica to Eagle Rock. <laughs> and there's no traffic. There's no traffic. So you can just get on the freeway with your bike and go. Susan, you're closer to about us piling into that Uber or Lyft for the JPL thing, thinking about the lack of social distancing. Oh my <laughs> God. We, we have what you know the people. old story about how many people can you pile in a Volkswagen when you were at freshman in college? Right? <laughs> well, we did it as seniors going to JPL. <laughs> 
Does that seem better? We had what, seven adults? There were like seven of us in this little in a Volkswagen. And a little tiny something. And the and the driver, what was he hearing? And the driver could not speak English and he could not hear. There's a big sign that says I can I don't speak English and I can't hear. <laughs> we can all fit. True we can story. Fit. Honestly, it's a true story. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was awful. And then we we unloaded at JPL <laughs> with all these like super nerds, you know, <laughs> and they're looking at us like, you know, these are supposed to be senior citizens. They're supposed to be like cool people. You know? <laughs> Susan, we've never been cool people. Of course we're cool, <laughs> but just our own definition of cool. <laughs> Nothing like having a friend from high school, you know? And she got me in so much trouble in high oh, school. Oh, that's such a lie. That is to such tell a lie. You. Oh. you got me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and Pam's been getting me in trouble since we were two years old. I, I can see why you're all <laughs> friends. I, 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 trouble I, in first grade, though. That was the biggie. <laughs> in first grade, she was a real baddie. <laughs> she was okay up till first grade, yeah. but we've known each other like longer than I've ever known my sisters and brother. Right. Literally, right, right. Yeah, because we've known each other since we're born. Wow. Pretty much. Wow. We actually I met were you in homeroom. <laughs> I met you in homeroom. We were in homeroom. Hey, yeah, but you know what? I I was I published in newspapers, so if they acted out, I got them on the. <laughs> on my remarks on Friday afternoon, there would be a little blurb about Kate. <laughs> such a lie. It's Kate such and a, Carol such a getting into trouble. Too. Kate and Carol always getting into trouble. You, you guys would all appreciate this. My daughter wrote a report about Kate as her interview with a senior project. And <laughs> the title of the report, report is The Duganator because she shuts it down. <laughs> Oh, 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 I like it. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. My buzzer just went off. I've got a minute. Yeah. I'm going to get. Well, I need a longer time. Turn your camera on so we can see you. Okay. Well, they're just, they're supposed to cook and then mine are not cooked yet. Okay. Uh -oh. I guess it would, Dina, have you tried it in different ovens? If you're starting from, from nothing and not preheating, wouldn't it depend on the oven how fast it heats up to 375? Yeah, and that's where you can kind of play with the time. You can okay. add a little more mine, time. It mine's look not done stuff. either. Okay. So it's, it's not so like you it. have a way of knowing exactly, but it's very close. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do another five. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. I um, actually, the, uh, the second mistake I made was I thought I turned the oven on and i turned it off so and i went back after 20 minutes and went something's wrong so <laughs> then i cranked it up and, and left it on for 20 minutes and it came out great <laughs> there you were with your plate and fork and ready to yeah, go ready to go <laughs> and the <a> glaze <laughs> oh, all right well now susan Yes, ma'am. Susan is um, a writer. That's true. So, <laughs> so talk about your writing, because I think you just are ghost writer for everybody. <laughs> no. You're just a ghost writer. No. Now I'm writing only for myself. No more ghost writing. That's awesome. No more? Yeah, just my my own. Are you so getting I have one that's a World War II story that's set in uh, Mutzig, France. It's a true story. 
uh, about a sixth generation Californio from Oxnard, who uh, is the only American to be buried on foreign soil by the people that he saved. He saved an entire town. Wow. And he was amazing. He was Don Camarillo's godson. So we're getting that one is getting made, and uh, and then I'm working on on a Roman children and children through the ages in England, and how they come together. It's kind of a it's a paranormal kind of mystery kind of kind of thing, you know, with a dark lurking figure in the background. And it's just a, it's a wonderful story. And then there's a very sad story about, uh, also about World War II that I came up with. And then just because I felt like it, and Stuart says, well, you don't have anything else to do. I've always wanted to write a noir, you know, a modern, a modern noir in Santa Monica, you know, the ghost of Raymond Chandler. And I've always wanted to, I just wanted to do that. So I kind of patterned it, you know, I told all my colleagues, I said, if anybody ever writes a coronavirus story, I'm going to put it in the ash can. Don't even send it to me to read it. <laughs> so, but I'm kind of patterning it after this guy who's a private eye, who goes to England to do this story for this Beverly. He's hired by this Beverly Hills father because there's uh, his daughter has been cyber stalked by this guy and they've tracked him down to, he knows nothing about anything to do with electronics or cyber or anything. He's just a really good gumshoe. And so the, this guy has hired a team of people to track this kid down in England. So the guy flies over to England and he does the same thing as me. He gets, uh, he throws clots landing back in LA ends up in the hospital and comes out just as the virus hits, which is exactly what happened to me. Right. Wow. Coincidental timing. And uh, so so it's kind of about him and then how he solves this mystery cool. and stuff. Yeah, it's really kind of fun. It's gonna be a short story. I think I'm gonna send it in. I'll post it on my website. I'll let you guys know. And then I'll send it in to one of the magazines. in the mail today. Oh, cool. This is Dan Coonan. Is it backwards on your No, no Coonan, that's right. It's it's uh, showing up right. Yeah. Presidential and Spirit. This is his first book. And I used to babysit for him. Aww. Not for him. Literally I him. Him. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> All right. It's the family of the Coonans in El Segundo. And Dina knows them all. A little too wow. well. A little too well. <laughs> so um, check your check your roles. Ooh, those look better. Pam, are you gonna make yours tonight? Who me? Yeah. Um, tonight or tomorrow, maybe in the morning. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh. I think they're good. Do that again. Yum. Well, I'm going to make it's too hot. It's too hot here to do it now. Uh, it's hot. You know what? It's hot here, but we're getting some really big winds. Did I didn't hear them predict winds. Are you up there at the beach? Yeah, we've got we've got a nice breeze. So I mean, I'm cooling I'm it off a little bit. From South Orange County. I mean, we don't usually get the wind, and I'm like, anyway, it's weird. Very strange weather today. No. Those must be the Santa Ana winds, if you're. Yeah. No, they're not the Santa Anas. They're coming off the ocean. I looked Wait, at the flags. I know. Stuart. You know, I thought okay. that Stuart, but Peter, you they're coming. The icing on now. Thank yep. God yeah. they're coming I'm off the ocean. I'm putting the icing on right now. All right, go for it. Go wow, look at that. There is a ton of icing on this. <laughs> oh, yum. Oh, yum, yum. Oh, yeah. yum, yum. Carrie, yeah. Carrie, you're right. You're right. Down, right? right Carrie. <laughs> yeah, right. You're right. You're right. Gotta have it. I mean, talk about a sugar. Oh, Let's do it. Yeah. Look, I'm thinking fire. tomorrow morning, Pam. <laughs> I know, but it's just like there's just the two of us. Our our kids are totally into the social distancing, so I'm like a little nervous making a big old 
pan like that. <laughs> Well, you can probably freeze them. That's what I'm. You saying. can freeze them. You definitely can right? freeze them. Yeah. Can you? Yes. Yeah. See, I would freeze them individually, and then when you're like really jonesing for a cinnamon roll, oh, I know. Take that yeah, puppy I out. To heat them rather than uh, freeze them. <laughs> what, Damien? I prefer to eat them rather than freeze them. I know. Oh. <laughs> so all nice, all twelve. Huh? That's beautiful. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Yours should look like Let's that too, little. Carrie. I want to see. Okay. Let's see, Carrie. Hang on. Can you get it, babe? You think so? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, this is not fair. Carrie has kitchen assistants. I do. <laughs> It's true. It's time for Chantel. <laughs> I don't want oh, to spill yeah. that. Turn it a little. I know. It's, yeah, I don't want it to spill out. Oh. <laughs> All of them. Well done, though. Well, there you well, go. Done. Done. Beautiful. Yeah. Mariana, what about you? I'm doing it right now. I'm just putting it on. Allison? Mine, are, mine haven't turned brown. Are you? Are you? Oh, yeah. They should be a little bit brown. They're not brown this yet. An elect my oven's really crappy. I have an electric oven, so I do too. And you, there, you just oh, there you go. Oh, Look nice. at that. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at you. Okay. Ooh, what about good. you? Here's ours. Here's ours. Oh. oh, there you go. They're gorgeous. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah. Ray, what about you? Mine, mine aren't quite brown either yet. Almost. Oh, okay. Almost it all depends on the oven. Yeah. Yeah. You just kind of have to watch them, I guess. Yeah. The, how about if we do um, next week, we could do the uh, raviolis. Because <laughs> we're almost out of time. Enjoy the raviolis. <laughs> I love raviolis. Yeah. I I'll tell you what, there is no comparison between homemade raviolis and hot <laughs> raviolis. That's true. Well, I will play around with them this week to see. And Carrie, when yes. would you like us to meet? I mean, I don't have meetings every Friday. Yeah, you do. You have a meeting every Friday. Uh, um, <laughs> when is her meeting? Her meeting's at three. At three to four? Three to three thirty usually, but, but her teacher was late today. So yeah, three to four. What about if we started at four? Well, Susan, doesn't that encroach on your call that you have on Fridays? I have 4.30, uh, 4 .30 to 5.30 on Fridays. We so we could do it earlier. 3.30, 3.30. Or, or we could even do it at, at two o'clock. We have, we have no life, you guys pick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about Thursday? Or a Thursday evening? Yeah. Thursday, I, Thursday, I have nothing that goes that's every week. Yeah. Neither do we. Just stick with Kate. Dinner with Kate, right? Dinner with Kate. Yeah. Dinner with Kate is always Thursday. Thursdays at seven. So Perfect. you know, right? Okay. And okay. what I can do <laughs> is, um, I'll talk to now. I want to make sure that everybody has the equipment. Mm -hmm. And that kind of thing. And that would kind of leave out the raviolis. Yeah. Yeah. I if have you don't a, have the equipment. That if yeah. you don't have the equipment, it's not gonna work. Yeah. We so, can make English muffins though. So. But I can English make English muffins. muffins. We could do homemade pasta. And English muffins. <laughs> okay. I love I will English talk, muffins. I will let you know on Monday. Okay. Surprise us. No, no, because because what we have to do is um, we have to have, if you want to cook along, you you need to have the ingredients.